True stories. In 2016, I watched a friend die in a burning building. See, I could only imagine from the ground how the flames finessed its fist on the facets of his face. He wanted to jump, but that would be suicide. You know, they say black does not crack, but that day I saw a certain amount of heat that burns melanin into ashes. I thought about superheroes. I wish superheroes really existed, or better yet, that poets were superheroes. Whoever said that writing saves lives has not watched someone die in a burning building. Well, I have. My life is a burning building. I've been writing all my life, but it still hasn't saved me. Somehow these flames, they found a way to finesse their fist on the facets of my face. I want to jump, but that would be suicide. Second story, when I was six, I was upset with fireflies, how they glowed in the dark. On some nights, I watched their lights sparkle, taking out this thing in darkness. My mother told me that for some things to reach perfection, they first have to burn like gold. And that is why a firefly carries a furnace on its back. Only then can we see it as beautiful. She said somehow the fire has the ability to refine us. Then why are we scared of hell? Isn't burning supposed to bring out the best in us? Do we not want to be gold? Made me think of my friend who died in the burning building. The fire didn't refine him. He didn't come out as gold. Just ashes from which he never rose. No phoenix, just remix of lovely poems. I write about him every day now that he's gone. I guess just like the firefly, he first had to burn before I see him as beautiful. I like to think he made it to heaven because after burning to death on earth, I couldn't imagine him in hell for all eternity. I like to think he mounted up wings and reached for the skies. Kind of like a firefly. <laughs>